Um, my view on that is that we do have all of the component technologies. Uh, so that means that technically, one can think how that could be done. Uh, so there are component technologies for carbon capture and storage. Their uh, biomass is also a technology that can be done sustainably. Afforestation as well, because that would also result in net, net negative emissions. Uh, or think of the you know, Brazilian ethanol program, when you ferment sugar into ethanol, CO2 could be in principle collected and stored. So there are options that could be done. The problem, and this is really the big problem, is that uh, we know how to do that at the level of million tons of carbon or so per year. And if you're th thinking about cumulative need of removing 100 billion tons, that means scaling up by a more than a factor of 1,000. And this is, this is not known. We, we cannot know today whether there will be negative consequences of such a large scale up of those technologies, whether they would be socially acceptable, how to control the risks, because they will have many risks, as we know already today. Um, so there are many, many questions there, but I would also like to add the question on the, you know, on, on the Earth system side. I mean, I don't, I don't believe that we have a high certainty now that as we overshoot the target, and remove carbon to go down to whatever the level might be, that we know exactly how the Earth system will be reacting to that too. It's a completely different dynamic than what we have until now. I think in the past we were thinking of how to approach, approach a certain bar target from below, namely by limiting emissions. Now we are talking about approaching, in quotes, the target from above, namely overshooting the target and then removing greenhouse gases to go back to the target. And so I, I think this is a topic for future research. Uh, there is nothing automatic about it. Removing such large amounts of carbon from the atmosphere is a real tall order.